and welcome back to Cook School recipe number two with Mrs McGonagall and Today we are going to be making a very popular recipe and it is called sausage Sausage cha cha cha. Our primary five absolutely loved this when we made it at school and um, so we thought we would make it at home for you to give the recipe a go. But before we do that we just want to give a wee shout out to the people who followed our last recipe and I want to say a big shout out to Darcy in primary one for her fantastic egg muffins and also to Una and Iona for sending me a picture of their amazing muffins as well. Edward's also got a shout out because one of his friends made the egg muffins at home and said a wee video. So who's your shout out for? Bryce! Hi Bryce! cha-cha-cha um, we are going to again use our sausage cha-cha-cha we're going to be using our knife skills again today we're also going to be using um, a pan a hot pan and Edward's going to be my glamorous assistant and he's going to be helping to mix all of the ingredients in the pan and then hopefully we will have a delicious meal that everyone in the family will enjoy eating Certainly mummy, mummy will enjoy eating it, Edward maybe not so much. So we're going to get started with our chopping for our sausage cha 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 and we're going to have a very quick reminder of our cutting skills. So our first one, what are our knife skills, do you remember? What are two cutting skills? What do we call them? What's the first one? The bridge cut. So the bridge cut is when we're chopping something in half and we place the knife in the middle, so that is our bridge cut. Edward is demonstrating it beautifully here. Will you put your hands up back for me? So if we have our hands that way, he's got his bridge and we chop in between, which is perfect. So I'm going to give Edward a pepper. I'm also going to take a pepper. And what we're going to do is we're going to chop our peppers. Okay, there's one for you, Ed. Can I have to do like you're going to do, first of all, you're going to do your claw grip and we're going to chop the end of the paper. Okay? Then, using your bridge grip, you're going to chop it in half. That's it, all the way through. Fantastic. Now, from there, use your bridge grip again. That's it, in half, like that, and all the way through. Well done, good boy. Now you've got your wee pieces, we can scrape the papers out. The seeds. We'll do the bridge, the bridge cut again in half. And then very chopping our pepper and what we're going to do is we're going to scoop our pepper up and put it into our bowl. Okay, the next thing we're going to chop for our sausage cha-cha-cha for our sausage cha-cha-cha is an onion. Now, I always say the teaching kitchen, the 
trick to cutting an onion is to make sure that you don't cut the root. You cut the root last so that your eyes don't water and it doesn't make you cry. This might be Edward's first time chopping an onion or helping to chop an onion. This is quite tricky to chop so I'm going to do the first cut and just another wee reminder, I'm going to use our bridge cut. I'm going to cut the onion from the top to the bottom because I don't, I want to keep as much of this root intact as I can. The onion has a skin that we will peel off once we have done the first cut. So my bridge cut, you can see my bridge and I'm going to just cut, pushing all the way through. You might need to get mum or dad to help you with that if that's quite difficult. Then what we've got is we've got to peel the onion. Now Edward, you're going to peel the onion with me. So we've got to take the layer of skin off the onion. Oh, how were you so quick? <laughs> Mine didn't come off as easy. See if you can take another one layer off. That's it. So that's it. We'll take the hard one away. And 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 wait a before you. You were done way before me. You're going to be a very good cook when you're a big boy. Oh, you're already a very good cook. You're going to be a chef. Like, and just you're going to be a chef. And I make pretzels. And you make you make pretzels. You do love a pretzel, don't you? Okay. So. We have got our onion. Now, what we're going to do, using our claw grip, so show me your claw grip, Ed. So your claw grip, and that's your bridge grip, so your claw, and you're going to hold it like this, and we're going to chop this bit off here. You look at see this bit? So you're going to take your knife, and you're going to chop that bit really carefully off. Excellent cutting, well done. Now what we're going to do is we are going to chop the onion into little slices. which are also chopped. The other ingredients that we need for our sausage cha-cha-cha are a tin of chopped tomatoes, a tin of red kidney beans. Now I am using the ones that are in chilli sauce so I don't actually need, I had a sieve but we don't actually need the sieve because I'm going to put the chilli sauce in. I am going to use a spray oil but you can use a pouring oil if you prefer but I'm going to use a few sprays of a spray oil. We have got cumin, I'm using cumin seeds but you can use ground cumin if that is what you have in your cupboard and we're going to use some chilli flakes. It's up to you how much of this you add, the recipe recommended a teaspoon of both but if you don't like it too spicy you don't need to add any chilli flakes at all and if you like a wee bit more cumin you can add a wee bit more cumin. So these are the ingredients that we're going to add to our sausage cha cha cha. The last thing I am adding is my sausages. Now I have chosen a vegan sausage, it's actually what I had in the freezer. Um, so I actually got these ones, I think they're butternut squash and bean sausages with red pepper. So they're the sausages that I'm going to add in. But you can use a pork sausage, you can use whatever sausage you like to eat. What Edward's going to do now is he's going to measure out our spices. So the first spice he's going to measure out is cumin. I'm using cumin seeds, but what I did say is if you don't have cumin seeds, you can use cumin powder. And Edward is going to measure out two of them, because I couldn't find my teaspoon, so it's two half teaspoons will make a teaspoon. And that's it, he's levelling it off for me and popping it in. The next spice he's going to add is chilli. What I will say is we don't touch the chilli because it is very spicy. You can touch the cumin but you cannot touch the chilli because it is very spicy. If you do happen to get some chilli on your fingers, just go and wash them straight away. And I should have said as well boys and girls, the same as we did before, we washed our hands before we started today. So we don't need to worry about washing our hands again. So Edward's now going to measure out the chilli. He's going to put the wee spoon in and he's going to do a heat. Why are the colours red then? These are hot chillies, yes. Yeah. So take a whole one and pop it in the bowl. Careful we don't spill it. Careful. 
excellent. Now we don't touch them with fingers. If you do touch them with fingers, don't worry, you can go and wash your hands. sausage cha 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 is cooked it has been cooking for about 20 minutes in total i added the sausages back to the pan with about 10 minutes to go so they have been cooking in the sauce for 10 minutes and they are now cooked through and piping hot i'm serving my sausage cha 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 with a vegetable medley broccoli peas leeks but you can serve it with rice basmati rice that's what we had it with in school or it would be lovely with a baked potato or mashed potato we hope you enjoy Thank you very much for joining us for our second recipe of our cook school. We hope you have enjoyed making sausage. Sausage cha cha cha. Sausage cha cha cha. Edward certainly has. It was his first proper experience of using the frying pan and things all on his own. So I think he quite enjoyed himself. Uh, yeah, we hope you enjoy eating your sausage cha-cha-cha. Like last time, if you do make the recipe, can you please send me your pictures on Class Dojo if you go to Bear's Den Premier, we would love to see them. And Edward enjoys seeing them as well. So until next time, Mrs McGonagall and... Edward. Saying bye everyone.